Ever wondered why Filipino street food has been making waves around the world? Well, there's no simple answer to that. It's a combination of many factors, including the rich, vibrant culture of the Philippines and the unique palette of flavors that Filipino cuisine brings to the street. Hello there, and welcome to another video with your friends here at Passport Journey. You can find this video in our YouTube playlist, Flavors of the Philippines, and be sure to watch this video to the end, so you can learn a lot about the Filipino food scene. Before we dive into the street food, let's take a moment to appreciate the beauty of the Philippines. This country is an archipelago boasting over 7,000 islands, each with its own unique charm. From the pristine white beaches of Palawan, the stunning rice terraces of Ifugao, to the bustling cityscape of Metro Manila, there's a world to explore in this tropical paradise. The Philippines is known for its vibrant festivals, with each region having its own unique celebration. From the colorful Ati Atihan in Aklan, the grandeur of Sinulog in Cebu, to the floral float parade of Panagbenga in Baguio, these festivals are a testament to the country's rich cultural heritage and the warm, friendly people who call it home. But what truly makes the Philippines a fascinating country is its diverse influences. A melting pot of cultures, the country has been shaped by its Malay roots, Spanish colonial history, and American occupation resulting in a blend of traditions, languages, and, of course, cuisines. This rich tapestry of influences is reflected in the street food, where each bite tells a story of the country's colorful past and vibrant present. Now that we've set the scene, Let's dive into the delicious world of Filipino street food. Whether you're in the bustling streets of Manila or the serene provinces, you're in for a gastronomic adventure that's as diverse and vibrant as the Philippines itself. Stay tuned as we embark on this mouthwatering journey together. Filipino street food is more than just a quick bite to eat. It's an experience, a sensory journey that takes you right into the heart of the Philippines. From the bustling streets of Manila to the serene provinces, the food reflects the country's diverse cultural influences, melting into a unique blend that is distinctly Filipino. Imagine biting into a crunchy piece of lechon kawali, the sizzling pork belly crackling in your mouth as the succulent meat melts on your tongue. Or perhaps you're more of a fan of the tangy, sweet and spicy notes of adobo, a dish that's as versatile as it is delicious. There's something for everyone in this vibrant street food scene. But what makes Filipino street food stand out? It's the bold, adventurous blend of flavors. The cuisine is a testament to the Philippines' history with a fusion of Malay, Chinese, Spanish, and American influences. This blend of cultures has resulted in a unique flavor profile where sweet, sour, salty, and spicy notes dance together in perfect harmony. Take for instance balut, a popular street food that might seem intimidating at first but is considered a delicacy. It's a fertilized duck egg with a nearly developed embryo inside. The thought might make you squeamish, but for the locals and daring food enthusiasts, it's a must try. Or perhaps the vibrant halo halo, a colorful dessert that's a medley of sweetened fruits, jellies, and beans, topped with shaved ice and evaporated milk. It's a refreshing treat that perfectly encapsulates the Filipino spirit, diverse, vibrant, and full of joy. So whether you're a food critic looking for your next culinary adventure, or a traveler wanting to immerse yourself in the local culture, Filipino street food is a feast for your senses. Buckle up as we are about to embark on a mouth-watering journey through the bustling streets of the Philippines. Welcome to Manila, the heart of street food culture in the Philippines. This bustling metropolis is a culinary hotspot where flavors from every corner of the archipelago converge to create a food lover's paradise. The streets of Manila are lined with vendors selling an assortment of mouth-watering treats. Each corner, each alley has its own unique offering. It's like walking through a living, breathing, and most importantly, delicious food museum. You'll find everything from skewered meats sizzling on hot grills to colorful sweet treats that will satisfy even the most voracious sweet tooth. Let's talk about the skewered meats for a moment. These are a staple of Manila's street food scene. Whether it's eye saw, skewered chicken intestines, or Betamax, blocks of congealed chicken blood named after the old video cassette, these grilled delicacies are a must try for anyone serious about diving into the local cuisine. But it's not all about the savory. Manila is equally famous for its sweet street food, Halo Halo. A vibrant mix of shaved ice, evaporated milk, and various fruits and jellies is a beloved dessert that offers a refreshing respite from the city's tropical heat. And let's not forget the balut, 
a fertilized duck egg that's boiled and eaten in the shell. It's a delicacy that has become synonymous with the Filipino street food experience. Some might find it a little challenging, but it's an integral part of the culinary adventure that is Manila. The importance of Manila in the Filipino street food scene cannot be overstated. It's a city that celebrates its culinary diversity, showcasing a multitude of flavors and dishes that embody the rich tapestry of Filipino culture and history. Every bite, every taste tells a story, and it's these stories that make the food here more than just a meal. Manila's street food scene is a sensory overload, but our food journey doesn't stop here. So, fasten your seatbelts and prepare your taste buds because we're just getting started. Next stop, the Visayas region, known for its unique and exotic street food offerings. In the heart of the Philippines, Visayas is an archipelago that serves as a melting pot of flavors, each island contributing its own unique touch to the culinary landscape. The street food here is a testament to the Visayan people's love for food, their resourcefulness, and the region's abundant natural resources. One cannot talk about Visayan street food without mentioning Lachon, the undisputed star of any Filipino feast. This whole roasted pig, basted with a secret concoction of spices and slow roasted over an open fire, is a symbol of celebration. The crispy skin that crackles with every bite, the tender and flavorful meat underneath, and the distinct aroma that fills the air make Lashan an unforgettable culinary experience. But Visayan street food is not just about grandeur, it's also about simplicity and everyday comfort. Take puso, for example, a type of hanging rice wrapped in coconut leaves. It's a humble yet ingenious creation that perfectly complements any dish, especially grilled seafood fresh from the Visayan seas. And then there's balut, a delicacy that's not for the faint of heart. This fertilized duck egg, with its partially developed embryo, is a rite of passage for any adventurous eater. It may seem daunting at first, but the rich, savory taste is something that will keep you coming back for more. These dishes are more than just food. They are a reflection of the Visayan people's history, traditions, and way of life. Lachon signifies abundance and joy. Puso symbolizes the Visayans' ingenious spirit and their close ties with nature, while Balut represents their boldness and resilience. The Visayas region challenges and delights the palate in unexpected ways. The flavors here are as diverse and vibrant as the Visayan culture itself. Whether you're after a hearty feast or a simple snack, the Visayas street food scene has something for you. So if you ever find yourself in this part of the world, don't miss the chance to take a bite of these culinary treasures. Brace your taste buds for the spicy kick of Mindanao's street food. As we journey south, we find ourselves in Mindanao, the second largest island in the Philippines, known for its vibrant food culture. With a rich diversity of ethnic groups, each contributing their own flavors, the street food here boasts of a unique and distinct taste that sets it apart from the rest of the country. One cannot talk about Mindanao street food without mentioning its wide array of spicy dishes. The locals love their food with a hefty dose of heat, and this is evident in their use of various peppers and chilies. From the fiery sili to the smoky labuyo, these spicy elements add a bold punch to the already flavorful street food of Mindanao. Now, let's dive into some of the region's signature dishes. First up, we have durian, often referred to as the king of fruits. With a reputation that precedes it, durian is known for its spiky exterior, custard-like texture, and a peculiar smell that people either love or hate. But in Mindanao, particularly in Davao City, durian is a celebrated delicacy enjoyed in its raw form or incorporated into a variety of desserts. Another unique fruit native to Mindanao is marang, a sweet, aromatic fruit encased in a spiky shell. Its taste is often described as a mix between bananas and pineapples, with a hint of durian. It's a must-try for any food adventurer visiting the region, but it's not just the fruits that are celebrated in Mindanao. The region's street food also consists of a variety of savory dishes. Kinilaw, a raw seafood dish marinated in vinegar and local spices, is a favorite among locals and visitors alike. These dishes are not just food items, but they are a testament to the spirit of the people of Mindanao. Each bite represents their love for bold flavors, their penchant for using locally sourced ingredients, and their cultural diversity. So, if you're a food enthusiast with a palate for the spicy and unique, Mindanao's street food is a culinary journey you wouldn't want to miss. Mindanao adds a fiery punch to the Filipino street food experience. Navigating street food stalls can be a bit of a challenge. Here are some tips. 
Embarking on a Filipino street food tour is an adventure that engages all your senses. However, to make the most of this gastronomic journey, there are a few etiquette rules and tips you should keep in mind. First and foremost, hygiene is paramount. While the sizzle and aroma of food cooking might be tempting, it's essential to choose stalls where food is prepared fresh and served hot. Avoid stalls where food has been sitting out, as this can increase the risk of foodborne illnesses. Also, note that it's customary in the Philippines to use your hands when eating certain street foods. However, always ensure your hands are clean. Many vendors provide water and soap or hand sanitizer, so don't hesitate to use it. Next, let's talk about bargaining. While haggling is a part of the shopping culture in many Asian countries, it's generally not practiced at Filipino street food stalls. Prices are usually fixed and affordable, so respect the vendor's livelihood and pay the asking price. Another critical aspect of enjoying street food in the Philippines is knowing how to choose the best stalls. A good rule of thumb is to follow the locals. If you see a stall with a crowd, it's usually a good sign that the food is delicious and safe. After all, locals know best. And remember, patience is key. The best street food is often found at stalls where everything is cooked to order, which means you might have to wait a bit. But trust me, the wait is often worth it. Finally, while tasting and exploring, remember to be adventurous but also respectful of local customs and traditions. If you're unsure about anything, don't hesitate to ask. Filipinos are known for their hospitality and will be more than happy to help. With these tips, you're well on your way to becoming a pro at navigating the vibrant Filipino street food scene. Filipino street food isn't just a local phenomenon, it's making waves globally. This exciting culinary journey we've embarked on is not confined to the vibrant streets of the Philippines. It's spreading its tantalizing flavors across the globe, from the bustling cities of America to the quaint towns of Europe. You might be wondering, how exactly has Filipino street food managed to etch its mark on the global cuisine scene? Well, the answer lies in the unique blend of flavors that Filipino food offers. It's a smorgasbord of sweet, salty, tangy, and spicy that sets the taste buds alight, leading to an unforgettable culinary experience. Filipino food festivals are sprouting up in various parts of the world. These gastronomic events showcase the diverse range of Filipino street foods from the sizzling sisig to the sweet and sticky kakanin. Food enthusiasts from all walks of life flock to these festivals, eager to savor the authentic taste of the Philippines. But the influence of Filipino street food doesn't stop at festivals. Renowned chefs across the globe are incorporating Filipino flavors into their dishes. They're taking inspiration from the humble streets of Manila, Visayas, and Mindanao, bringing the essence of Filipino cuisine into fine dining. The fusion of these distinct flavors with other culinary traditions results in innovative and exciting dishes that are making a splash in the international food scene. Take, for instance, the rise of adobo-inspired dishes in Western restaurants or the popularity of ube, a vibrant purple yam native to the Philippines in desserts around the world. These are testament to the fact that Filipino street food has transcended borders and made its mark on the global culinary map. The influence of Filipino street food is undeniable and its global recognition is well-deserved. As more and more people discover the rich flavors of Filipino street food, its influence continues to grow, shaping the future of global cuisine. It's a culinary revolution that's just getting started, and we can't wait to see where it takes us next. Our flavorful journey through the streets of the Philippines has come to an end, but what a gastronomic adventure it has been. We've tasted the sizzle of Manila, the zesty flavors of Visayas, and the spicy kick of Mindanao. Each region, each street corner, each vendor offering a unique taste and a story to tell. Let's take a moment to reflect on the highlights of our journey. In Manila, we started our tour by savoring the simple yet iconic balut, a dish that challenges the uninitiated but rewards the adventurous. The I saw skewered chicken intestines taught us that flavor can be found in the most unexpected places. And who could forget the sweet, crunchy banana cue a testament to the Filipino's knack for turning the ordinary into the extraordinary. Moving southwards to Visayas, we experienced a different palette of flavors. The bachoy, a noodle soup brimming with pork and beef, was a comforting treat. The piaya, a sweet flatbread filled with muscovado sugar, was a delightful surprise. These dishes, among others, showcase the Visayan people's love for hearty comfort food. Down in Mindanao, we braved the fiery Bicol Express, a spicy coconut milk-based dish that left our mouths tingling but our hearts yearning for more. 
The durian, with its notorious smell and heavenly taste, was a sensory experience that epitomizes the Mindanaoan spirit, bold, daring, yet incredibly warm and inviting. Throughout our journey, we learned the etiquette and tips for enjoying street food. From the proper way to eat balut to the art of savoring a saw, we discovered that eating street food is not just about the food, but also about the experience. It's about immersing oneself in the local culture, connecting with the people, and understanding their stories. But perhaps the most striking revelation is the global influence of Filipino street food. From the adobo tacos in Los Angeles to the pancit stir-fry in London, Filipino flavors have found their way into the hearts and plates of food lovers around the world. It's a testament to the universal appeal of Filipino cuisine, a cuisine that is humble yet bold, traditional yet innovative, and above all, deeply rooted in the spirit of bayanihan or communal unity. So as we wrap up our tour, let's remember that Filipino street food is more than just food. It's a reflection of the Filipino spirit, resilient, warm, and full of life. It's a celebration of diversity and unity, of tradition and innovation, and of the simple joy of sharing good food with good company. Thank you so much for joining us on this marvelous Filipino cuisine culinary adventure. Until next time, from all of us here at Passport Journey, we wish you happy trails and safe travels here in the Philippines.